These radiographs demonstrate multiple fractures of the tibia and fibula. Open fractures are common with severe injury to the tibia, but in this case extrusion of the bone through the skin did not occur. In the mid-tibial shaft, there is an oblique fracture with displacement and comminution. Here in close proximity is a segmental fracture of the fibula. This non-displaced fracture of the proximal tibia is somewhat less evident, but has important implications in regards to management because of its location. Intramedullary nailing is the preferred surgical technique for displaced mid-shaft fractures of the tibia, whether open or closed, so long as the medullary canal is not deformed and infection is not present. As well, if the proximal or distal tibia is fractured, then fixation of the intramedullary rod may not be possible. After open reduction, and sometimes a technique called reaming, the rod is inserted into the tibial cortex and fixated to the proximal and distal tibia. In this case, three screws, though not all visible, were required for distal locking. Proximal locking was achieved with two screws. Postoperatively, the patient should receive sufficient pain medication and prophylaxis against infection and deep venous thrombosis. Mobilization with active movement of all joints is encouraged and partial weight bearing should begin as soon as the patient feels ready. The most common complaint following intermedullary nailing is anterior knee pain. The knee pain can be present at rest, but is more common with nailing. Removal of the implant often leads to relief of pain, however the implant should remain in place for at least 12 months.